Good morning. Good morning. Once again, it is good to be with you for seven for seven. Amen. You know, um, each and every day, you know, when I wake up, I know I'm 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 so very appreciative Amen. of the Lord. That the Lord has given us another opportunity to know him, to love him, and, and to, to serve, serve him. him. Amen. And we're yielded to the king. Yes. Amen. Let's go to the throne. Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. We magnify you. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the lives of the people. Lord, we, your people, minister to us and through us, Lord. Cover us under your canopy of protection. Prepare our hearts for what is yes, before Jesus. us today. Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. You know, we want to talk about being quickened, being alive. What makes us alive? Amen. Amen. In the Lord. So go with us to the book of Hebrews. The fourth chapter. And... The twelfth verse. For the word of God is quick and powerful. Yes. And sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and of the marrow, and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Yes. Neither is there any creature that is not manifested in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. You know what? We just got to know God sees everything. It's naked and open. You know, and, you know, just like that, that, that word naked and open, you know, in marriage, people need to be naked and and open. And I'm not just talking about, I'm not talking about physically, but I'm talking about all of these other layers and all of these other Amen. things that sometimes people are not transparent about, That's right? right? All the stuff that comes with marriage. All the stuff that comes with marriage. And this is saying here that, 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 that you know, all things are naked and open with God. And yet we run around trying to hide stuff from God, like God can't see stuff, or we won't we don't want to confess stuff. Amen. But it says the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword. Amen. The word of God is our offensive weapon when yes, it comes it to the full armor of God. It is our offensive weapon, and God is calling us, Amen. if you will, to let the word of God go to work. Yes, in our lives. Amen. In our lives. And through us. That's right. You know, because that word quicken means to uh, make the spirit alive, make your spirit man alive, because it's our spirit man that connects with the Lord. Amen. Because God is a spirit and we must worship him in spirit and in truth. And that word means to make your spirit alive. When something is alive, it's moving, it's breathing, it's doing things, it's moving forward. And God wants our spirits to be alive and excited and vibrant and not just to be dormant not just to be there but he wants you to be alive and moving and and learning and growing in the things of god amen so that we can move forward so allow god to quicken your spirit you know shake you and wake you up and say come on let's move god's got something for you to do so that we can run this race for the lord and i mean really run the race you know not drag a leg not just barely make it to the end but run the race amen with grace and favor because god knows exactly what he has planned for you. You know what? We do need to run the race. Amen. And we must run it lawfully. We Come must on. run it the way the Lord wants us to run it. We must represent the king. Amen. And when we run the race, we can win the prize. Amen. Go. It doesn't go to the swift or to the strong, but to those that endure to, to the, the end. end. And so make up your mind today that you're going to endure to the end. Make yes. up your mind today that you're going to glorify the king. Make up your mind today that, guess what? 
I'm going to let the spirit be quickened within me. Amen. You know what? Because when we allow the spirit to be quickened, quickened within us, then we profit when we mix God's word with our faith. Amen. When we mix God's word with our faith, our spirit is quickened. And then we see the things the way that God sees them. And we are able to walk differently and talk differently. And we're able to do some things differently instead of just standing and just waiting for it to happen to us and just hit us. But we are alive and we are looking. We can see the things in the spiritual realm that are might be coming our way. And then we know how to handle it because we walk in faith. We're believing that God is going to do all that he said he could do in this plan of salvation for us so we can cast our cares on the Lord when our spirit is quickened and we're walking in the faith and the power of God's word. Amen. You know, it says that the word of God was quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. We have to understand what is or who is, is the word. In John 1, 1, it says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Amen. And the word was God. On. John 1, 14 says, and the word was was made flesh and dwelt among us. Guess what? The word is Jesus and Come he on. is sharp and he is there. He is he is making an incision in our life. Amen. And when he makes an incision, oftentimes he wants to make a decision, if you will, cutting out the things that are not of him, if you will, and separating us, putting us, if you will, where we need to be so that we can make a what? Decision. That's right. Right? For the king. And so I encourage you to press in. Amen. For we profit when we mix the word of God with our faith. Yes. Amen. Like mixing a cake. You know what I mean? When it gets all mixed up. Amen. Man, that's when it goes to work. Well, you know what? It takes God to, we need God's spirit to be able to discern certain things in this life. We need to be able to discern the good from the bad, the right from the wrong. Everything is good. Um, that God has his hand on, I mean, but everything in life is not. And so we want the things of God because things in God are good, but everything that is good is not God. Come on, and tell so us. we need to, to understand that. And we need God's discernment to be able to do that as we walk in faith. And, you know, as we trust God, as we stand on the word, as we believe that God is the word. Amen. So we have to be able to discern that in our walk, discern the good from the bad uh, and what's going on in our everyday lives. Now, you know, you're absolutely right, mm -hmm. because Eve chose what was good, yes. not what was God. <laughs> and everything good this is, true. is not, not God, God. And, every, and everything that is God is good. But Eve chose based on what was good for her at the moment, good, you know what I mean? And that's what we do sometimes. We just choose what we think is good. good. You know what? We need to choose what is God. Amen. Amen? Yes. So God is faithful to us at all times. Amen. And so you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow at 7 for 7. Amen. Amen.